Look at that. Welcome to the start, season one, episode one, our to survive. First thing I want to do is just kind of clear off the ground, kind of see where I'm going to put up my tent, place my fire, so that's what I'm going to do right now. We're just looking to get big sticks such out of the way. A lot of these sticks we can use for a fire. Luckily I picked a fairly flat area to set up camp. There really isn't a whole lot around here. I'm lucky I found this here. A lot of dead brush. Giant tree above us. Hopefully that won't become an issue. I don't think it will, it's still hanging on pretty good. I mean, this stuff right here, it rained a ton last night, but this is really dry. Stayed off the ground, so we're gonna use that to start our fire. get these branches out of the way kind of just right here so we don't have any issues with that jabbing us the goal today is to catch some fish if we don't catch any fish I have some backup stuff and uh, either way we're gonna eat be eating pretty well So it's a nice little pile of wood here to start off with. Now that we've got that nice and cleared out, I'm going to go ahead and go over a couple of things I brought with me. Probably can't even see that. I've got my soap jar, got some pliers, fillet knife, my drink here. I've got my axe, then another fixed axe. On the inside, I've got pots. I've got a, uh, a tarp that we're gonna use for our, our little tent. I've got a flint and steel. And then I've got our backup food just in case. We don't catch any fish out here. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get some wood and stuff set up. We need to have a fire, that's gonna be our main main goal. Go ahead and take some of these 
branches out here. One good size one there. find some more. There's another good tree right here. Start breaking some of these pieces off. Here. got a good start. Let's see if we can get this fire going. And then we can start on our tent setup. Right now I'm just grabbing decent sized rocks so we have a nice base for our fire. this a couple times. All right. I'm thinking I kind of want it right about here. So then back here we're going to do our, our tent and stuff. So go ahead. Making a nice little circle. One of my rocks broke in half there. Right. Now that looks like she'll do all right. ahead and get our sticks stuff ready. It's the main goal to have everything ready so when you get your spark you don't lose it. So I want all my stuff here, all my little twigs and such, keep them over here so they stay nice and dry. I'm going to start off with small Up kind of like that. 
go a little bit to medium stuff like that there's so many ways to make a fire but this one seems to work just about every time and you just keep growing in size but make sure you have enough See, that's all green on the inside I don't want to use that use that to make rope later A lot of this little twigs and stuff are perfect for getting this fire started. And that's one of the key elements to surviving. Now today we have a bunch of extra stuff to help us. As far as axes and got a little bit of fishing line, so but no fishing pole. We're gonna have to figure out how to catch some something with the fishing line and a hook. See that's another one that's really green. Won't use that. We've got some hemp line here. Normally carry this around me. This is great for tying things down. And great fire starter. Cut yourself a piece of line off. Just cut a piece of line off. What we're going to do is untwist it. I don't like that. Can separate the fibers, separate the strands. So it'll light on its own, but we want more surface area. And pull. There you go. So now we have three separate strands. Now what we're going to do with these is break these down. Just start separating the strands on that. I want it to be very fibrous. You see that? do is just take your nail and just pull it down like that and that's one strand done we'll go ahead and work on the other one what I got here is almost like a little bird's nest and that's exactly what you're going for something kind of like that you'll be able to wrap it around in your hands there kind of just lay it in there like that we're going to take that rope that we had before and get that lit. And then we'll set that right in the middle of this here.
trim the bottom of this off. Hopefully, until we get somewhat of a point. Doesn't have to be perfect. here be a good distance and slide that up a little bit I'm gonna use this knife it's actually a fairly dull knife I'm not too worried about digging in the ground with it but here I'm gonna mark out my area I'm gonna dig this hole Start on doing our makeshift tent here. Fire's got a good cook to it. We should be able to just use one rope. Now we got our oil. We're going to use a lot of it too. started on the next adventure here. There it is. 
we don't need anything to really cast because I got a big enough weight on for my line. there that'll work we'll go with it starting to beat me up out here cuts nice blister only got 10 pound weight hopefully that'll be enough this around here a few times. Let's wrap this a few times. Now I gotta figure out where I put my weight. There she is. Got our makeshift fishing pole in hand. And right there is where we're going, right out there. Whew. Talk about scary. All right, we made it across. Now, it all kind of depends on if we can get, we gotta find a pocket where the water kind of pools up. I'm thinking if I can get this thing out here we may have to go out to that little rock right there but we got we want to get right out there grab him like that got nothing to stick us oh that's it yeah we're gonna need to get out there they didn't give us enough line. All right, we'll cast her back out there again. And then we'll head back, make our lunch. Maybe when we come back, we'll have a fish on the end of this line. Time for a little bit of lunch. While we're waiting on our old fishing pole. Maybe just mush that a little bit. Ah, I've got my own fairground concoction here. Seeing how this does. Up around the 
this hot dog real quick. There we go. Get a nice good spread on her. Not wanting to stick on one side. couple times. Let's see. Let's see how we do. Get it in that oil. She's browning up nice. Get our second one going. Look at that. Let her sit there for a little bit, maybe rotate it. Well, what do you think? I think that's going to be delicious. Let's get our next one going. So we're nice and ready. Kind of a pain to get the, the stuff on. There we go. That's more like it. All right, that one's all done up. Roll this one again, hold it down there. Talk about delicious, I mean, look at that. Rotate it. It's just like at the fairground, but right out here in the woods. She's just about done. She's looking good. If I can get it to stay right there. Now what I'm gonna do, Hopefully, tie her up. All right, time for round two. Like the old corn dog. Look at that. It doesn't get much better than that. Get to be out here in the wilderness. Eating a wild corn dog. Throw a little bit of mustard on there. Find my bag. Ketchup on there. Are you kidding me? Ketchup job. Look at that. Mm. If you guys have ever had corn dogs at the fair, that's it. Right there. Mm. That's good. I don't even care if I get a fish at this point.
honestly didn't expect that to go as well as it did. I'm ready for number two. drink over here. This is my first time making one of these videos and it's a lot of work. I'm sure when I edit this down it's gonna be 30 40 minutes or so but I don't think anybody talks about how much work it takes to set up a camera, go do your thing, come back. I mean, you're doing a lot of back and forth. And it wears you out. I mean, I had three hot dogs starting this. The first one I put in the oil was just way too hot. I let it sit a little too long while we were getting the fishing pole ready. Oh yeah, our line's down. We might have something, baby. Look at that. Line's going all the way down there. Oh, it might have been a stick though. You know what? I think that's what we got. A nice, big old stick. Man. I got excited there for a second. I thought we did it. Gonna be able to get this out. Try one more spot here. I'm kind of debating on whether going that way. All right, I can't get to that pocket. I don't have enough line for that, so. Because the catfish like to sit right, right in there, right where the water it kind of comes back that's where they want to sit there and wait for their food to come let's get our line back over here and this stuff's disgusting all you do is slide in it all right we're just going to toss it out in the channel hope for the best maybe i think we just got tangled up here Definitely not the most efficient way of fishing. But hey, I'm out here having fun, and that's what matters. This is a good time. I like to go somewhere where you got trout, all kinds of different things. All right, we'll go to this side. out there in the channel shove that down oh she ain't going nowhere look at that perfect this stuff down here nasty all you do is slide in it I can't even tell if I got a bite already or not I don't know but if they do bite on it they're not going very far. All right, let's start packing up.
All right, here's our last shot. Let's see if we got anything on the line here. You know what? It's hard to tell. Let me set you guys up right here. You see it? Perfect. Got everything packed up other than our oil. Let's see if we got a fish on Does not feel like it. May just be too early in the season. <laughs>